एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग ब्रिज आई होप यू गज आर डूइंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग एंड रियल इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो for all the aspiring data professionals and my lovely data community and this video is definitely very different because today i will be doing a review of my linkedin profile so that you guys can also understand that how to create a decent decent linkedin profile which can catch the attention of recruiters from all good companies and one small disclaimer that i'm not a linkedin expert but i've been using it since very long and linkedin has literally helped me to land into my dream companies and that is why i will be discussing everything which worked out for me in order to seek the attention of the recruiters and what are the important details you need to mention in your linkedin profile and any kind of hack or trick which worked out for me i will explain all those things honestly speaking there are lots of job platforms right in order to apply for the job application but when it comes to linkedin there is no match for it and why i am saying it because i started using linkedin effectively starting from the end of 2019 and after that i am very very much active on linkedin i can keep on writing stuff for different different topics and after paytm whatever job opportunities i have got so far that is just only from linkedin i didn't ask for any referral i didn't even apply on the career pages of the companies so now you can even understand the value of it and in the next couple of second you will see a proof of it on the screen you will see different different screenshots and these are the actual messages from the recruiters in my linkedin inbox and although i am working at expedia i am not looking for change as of now but still i keep on getting messages from the recruiters for different different job profiles and job opportunities as a data engineer so if linkedin is helping me to get these kind of amazing job opportunities so it can help you as well but you need to know how and that is what i will be talking about so make sure to watch this video till the very end you will learn so many amazing things and also let me know in the comment section if you want me to create another review session for some different topic if you have any idea put it in the comment section i will definitely create that video so here on the screen you can see my linkedin profile and even link is also given in the description you can check my linkedin profile and you can take a reference from it so everything will start from this starting part right which is basically very very much important right you need to put all the important things here i have seen people not putting the image part as well so that is something which also i feel a uh, important part to create a decent profile and also your naming right that should be also correct after that this starting or you can say the headline in your profile so this becomes also very important i have seen people writing a very very different statement a very very descriptive statement but not mentioning the keyword which is actually related to your job or the designation because mentioning that keyword let's say the software engineer data engineer data analyst data scientist these are the keywords which are very very much important in order to get the attention from the recruiters because because when recruiters use linkedin they do it in a different way they have a mechanism to configure the things like what kind of job profile they are looking for to hire and what kind of skill set so they can configure all these things that is why the keywords right which are very very much important to highlight as many as times you can do and that actually starts from this section itself the short bio and in the recent time linkedin has introduced this feature as well where let's say you have any portfolio or you have a github repository so from the job opportunity perspective i will be saying if you have that kind of github profile or any sort of portfolio try to put a link here right this is a clickable link and the recruiter can be redirected to your website or github repository you have created so make sure to add that link here as well so here i will stop you for few seconds because the next information is very much important to know for you all so if you also want to crack your dream companies then coding ninjas can definitely help you in this journey so coding ninjas is india's largest coding education platform which has taught more than 50000 students so far so they actually provide different and amazing courses for different skill sets like dsa interview prep and most important the analytics and data science as well it has also been launched so this is also one of the best opportunity for you all to check out this courses and the best part is that the content is actually designed by the iits and stanford alumni and also instant one to one doubt resolution which is definitely one of the best feature this platform is providing your doubts will be resolved within 1 to 2 hours so totally practical and project based learnings where you will find more than 100 plus problems to solve and 10 plus projects to work on so these students are actually placed in all good 
top product based companies and here you can even download the placement report and here you can see the rating as well which actually speaks about their actions so these courses are very well structured for these students so as a student if you are putting right amount of effort along with these courses then this will be more than enough to crack your dream companies so there is very very special offer which is going on right now so you can use the link which i have given in the description and you will be getting 25% discount on all coding ninjas courses and next thing which becomes very much important in order to even get the interview calls sometimes let's say recruiters pinged you in the linkedin box and you are not responding so they might also like to connect with you over a call or email if they find your profile very much interesting in this contact info section make sure you have correctly mentioned your active mobile number and active email id very much important so now let's talk about another section which is also very much important and that is which you can consider as a about me section or kind of cover letter as well you can explain your past experience you can explain your past experience and current experience in this section with the help of short sentences that means the way you are writing it it should be very concise and compact and here you can see my about me section where i have talked about my experience in data engineering and kind of data domains i have worked for and little bit about my exposure on different different tech stack so that is why i am highlighting these keywords and again i use data engineering term i talked about the data domains as well right so even sometimes recruiters let's say want to hire people who had experience in the healthcare domain so they might be mentioning those kind of keywords so the number of times you are repeating these kind of keywords here and there in your linkedin profile that means you are increasing your chances to be visible when recruiters are searching for those kind of job opportunities now talking about the experiences part this is also very much important so wherever you have worked so far let's say even starting from your internship time and then your past experiences and your current experience so that experience or designation is important to add here that is how the recruiters will even get to know that in which company currently you are working and where you have worked previously so if you have ignored it and you haven't added your experiences right in this section like where you are working currently and where you worked in the past so please try to do that that will give a good idea to the recruiter that how much time you spend in which company and also you can add a description about the kind of projects you worked in that company right that will also give a very very good idea to the recruiters so you can see clearly here whatever kind of projects i worked in amazon right in a very uh, short description i have mentioned it along with the tech stack so again the same part i would repeat that these skill set right and these key attributes you can see one more time here and previously in the about me section so the number of times these keywords will be used in the linkedin profile that means your chances are increasing so make sure along with the designation and company you are adding this detail as well and here you can see all my past experiences and companies like mckinsey and here amazon currently working at expedia then the paytm and opera solution so now talking about the education part this is also very much important so whatever bachelor's degree and master's degree you have make sure you have added the details around that so that even somebody is interested to know about your qualifications they can directly get this information from here now talking about the skills part as well right this section is definitely very much important and uh, make sure make sure that you are utilizing the full capacity of mentioning the skills if you have practically worked on it so yes i have worked on multiple skills that's why here you can see at max we can mention 50 skill set right in the linkedin profile so keep on doing it if you are learning something if you have a good idea about it you have worked on something practically make sure those skill sets are added in this section and one important thing i would like to highlight that linkedin also conducts this quiz part as well for different different skill sets so time to time if you are attempting those linkedin skill assessment test that would be really good and what's the advantage of it so for any of the skill set let's say you have cleared that assessment test so what would be the advantage of doing it so let's say any company did a job posting on linkedin platform and they mentioned hadoop as a skill set so what will happen since you have passed this assessment test so you will get a notification for that job posting before anybody else gets it who has not given this assessment test so that is the advantage the early notification for the job postings and eventually to showcase that how strong you are with these skill set and let's say you have worked with multiple people and you have like collaborated with multiple folks over the network so you can ask for the endorsement as well if they think that you are good in that particular skill set so that is how 
the top rated skill set of yours will be in this part based on the number of endorsement and that will be also a good attention seeking stuff now talking about the recommendations part so here you can receive the recommendation you can provide the recommendation to folks as well so that is something which is optional i would always say and let's say you have worked with different different people in different organization and if they are willing to write the recommendation on your linkedin profile based on their experience working with you so you should definitely ask for these kind of recommendation and get added in your linkedin profile now talking about the projects part again this is also very much important and why i am saying it because linkedin is nothing basically is your digital resume right so whatever you have worked so far your projects it could be the industrial project which you worked in different company your personal projects or anything let's say you were doing freelancing whatever projects you have built so far make sure to add it here and again this will be one more opportunity for you to mention the skill set and to add keywords multiple times in this section and yeah another part is the honor awards and achievements so if you have received anything be the prize from the company for the performance or you won any hackathon or any kind of achievement you have make sure to mention it here as well and once you start creating your linkedin profile there will be one more section named as the courses so let's say you have done any kind of uh, courses and you have done any kind of certification you can also mention in that section so now after creating this amazing linkedin profile you must be waiting for the interview calls or the messages from the recruiters and there is one important point which i want to share with you all so if you are not active on linkedin right for a longer time then that means you are decreasing your chances to get shortlisted for the interviews and even recruiters won't be able to see your profile while filtering out the candidates because your profile is not popping up when they are doing a search and why it happened because you were not active on the linkedin so if you want to use linkedin effectively then the first thing is that be active on it make a solid network connect with like minded people connect with different recruiters as well and most important part as well keep on sharing the knowledge as well that is also one another medium to be active on the linkedin so whatever you know let's say about your tech stack job profiles or any good information or anything you want to share with the public keep on doing it so that you are very very much active on the linkedin and you will keep on getting the interview calls from the recruiters i can literally guarantee on that part because i have been getting these kind of calls so now i am hoping that you have got a really good idea about creating decent linkedin profile if yes then stop this video right now log in on to your linkedin profile and complete it as soon as possible so once it is done so you can tag me on linkedin and you can write yes i also have an amazing linkedin profile so let's do it right now and like this video and share it with your fellow friends and also subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too